Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey, hey there, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Billy Ray says, welcome back to this channel. Especially all you new subscribers. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. And uh, we're going to get back on this Yamaha 9.9 four-stroker electric start only. It had busted shift cables, throttle cables, Looked them up on the websites. They no longer exist. Went out there and looked in my pile. I did not have the exact ones that would allow me to use the existing tiller throttle. So I had to get a little creative and that's what I did. That's what I did. did, 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 did. So let's take a look at this thing and see what all we got. Let's go. Okay, I drilled a hole through the handle with the stud that was coming through here. I drilled a hole through everything. Right up through everything. Through this, through the stud, through there. Put a nylock and a screw there. I drilled another hole right there. See this hole right there? Then I got a screw that's going to go through there. So, the end of the uh, socket, this is a, I think, 10 millimeter socket. No, 12 millimeter socket. 12 millimeter socket. It's a chrome vanguard or something. So, cheapo socket. Got a hole there, we got a hole there, I got a screw that fits those threads there. So, line that all up. What's that? Something in there, okay. Line that all up. Somewhere. There's a hole. Hey, there it is, I see it. Perfect. We are in forward gear here. So you get the idea. Then I'm going to screw that through there. But now i got to go get a screwdriver. I'll be back. Okay, there's neutral. There's forward. 
neutral, reverse. So, that'll have to do. Okay, forward, neutral, and reverse. There, reverse. Had to get everything lined up. There you go. And then, okay. Hopefully, you can see my screw right there. Now, the throttle. You can see the cable runs under here, up through here. I've got it in here. Then I've got a zip tie pulling it down into this bracket here. And then in neutral, I can't give it much. But when I go to when I go to uh, forward or reverse, I would imagine I can give it throttle, and then neutral I get the safety lock. Well, that's going to give it a little. But if you look here, I'm getting full travel on this. Watch the butterfly right here. You can see I'm getting full travel on that. So that. I was able to save that throttle cable, and uh, I get full throttle there, and all the way back to idle. There we go. Is it ideal? Nope. But it's going to work for this motor. Now i got to go out and get a prop off of uh, one of my junkers so I can get this busted up prop off here. Then we'll be ready to start it, throttle it up. Put it in gear. I've still got to find the plugs. As you can see, I took the shift handle off of here. Kill switch is there. I took the shift handle off of here and put it into the side using a 12 millimeter socket. And the 3 8 inch drive of the socket fits a square, the square hole in the end of the socket here fits the square shaft here. Then I just put a nut and a bolt through everything here and uh, it's quite hokey, but for this old engine, um, they no longer make these throttles and gear shift cables. Luckily, this one, came, this model came available in uh, both the side shift and the throttle shift. I have this piece that goes on here. I'm going to put a piece of foam right in here, and then screw this top back on. Um, I've got the rubber thing that goes here. I don't know if I'll put that back or just put something on the inside. We'll see. Get a new prop for it. Find the plugs for those holes there. And get them all glued up and then put the throttle cover back on or the throttle handle grip cover back on. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. I've got a little of the contact cementy. And I put a little on my brush. I rub it around. I rub it all around. Both of these. Both of them. Both of them. And put some goo in there. And some goo right around. You know, you know. You get it. You know. Okay, and then you get these little plugs here from the hardware store. This little plastic plugs. That one will go right in there. I get my big fat fingers out of there. Well, I thought it would. Well, let's try the other one. This is a rubber plug. Oh, here we go. Don't that look nice? So apparently that's the wrong plug. So we have to get a smaller one. Uh, yeah, let me get a small one. Let me get a small one. I'll see if I can find a small one. See if this one will work. Oh, look at there. There. Nice. 
and that hole's not open there. There is rubber in there. See, that's rubber. So now we got them all plugged up, and it looks. It looks totally acceptable. And then we'll get this glued on, or get another one. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we got the tilt going. I want to say a big thank you to all those that said, hey, doofus, put it in forward gear. Um, well, I did that, and it still didn't seem to want to come up. And so I thought, well, maybe that ain't it. And then what it is, is I put it in forward, and then I was able to push that lever around the front side, the one up under here, I could go on down with it. It was stiff, so I sprayed some lube in there. And then once I was able to get that all the way down, it came up really tight, and then I hosed it down really good with some tri-flow and I put a little geese all up in here and then I had to back out on this nut right here when I was raising it up and down it sounded like an old screen door and so I backed off on this nut right here sprayed the lube in there and then worked it a little bit now she goes up and down really nice so damn. whole lots of better so thank you guys and I still got to work on the one transom clamp, but I got my little gooseneck to my intake back on. I got shift handle, oh yeah, and uh, I went and took off the uh, busted prop. I don't know if that's fiberglass or plastic. I'm guessing plastic. Is there a repair for that? Maybe some marine techs and then use it as a backup? I don't know. Give me your thoughts on that. I'm sure this ain't the first plasticky four-stroke high-thrust propeller that's had its thing chunk knocked out of it. But I want to show you something that, I, to me, I found it kind of interesting. Yeah, that goes down much better now. Okay, something that I found a little interesting on these high thrust props. I haven't cleaned this prop or anything, I just put it on there. I just put it on there. But something that I found interesting is when, when this thing spins around, the tip, which this right here would be the deepest, it would go, would be right in there and if you look when that comes around you might get a quarter of an inch um, clearance on that thing I was looking to see if I had my little straight edge but if you look at this, heck, I don't even know if you get anything. And this is the prop that goes on this motor. I mean, it's the same as the other one that was on here. And you wonder why a chunk is missing out of it. That way. I mean, that's the same prop. And then you wonder, I don't know. I mean, there's really no clearance from that skeg. So it might behoove to add an extension to that or some kind of prop deal. I, I don't claim to be an expert on these high thrust, but I just found that kind of interesting that, well, there sure ain't, if any, much clearance there. You dig in a little sand and that, that prop's going to be hitting. At least this one is aluminium. Uh oh, I've got to spread my... Got to spread that little...
Carter pin there. I send that prop free down to Davy Jones. There we go. There, that's more better. Now Davy won't get that for free. I'll be back. Well now. We all know what it means when I wear the hat. It means it's Christmas in March. It's Christmas in the March. Somebody came bearing the gifts. Let's go look at it. There she is. The 40 horse. Precision blend. Got a little religion right in there. Um, the prop is a missing the chunklet. You look right there at that one fin on the right, it's missing a chunk. But um, it is the Yami High. Somewhere I thought it said, yeah. It is the Yamaha with the precision blend. Uh, um, three cylinder. With the VRO. We got the triplets one, two, and three Cabo D natures. Um, we got the busted up tiller handle. I see some custom. See that custom? Can you see it? Let me raise it up just a little. Yeah, you can see this. See the custom right here? You got some custom. Yeah. The throttle don't throttle. At all. So the throttle don't throttle. The custom gear shift does work. It will shift. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. But the throttle don't seem it's moving a little. I wouldn't say a lot. But um the motor feels like it has good compressionis. You want to stun us? That's because spun us. Um yeah, she things work I don't know but yeah I pulled it over it uh oh let me get this thing straight there we go it uh it has some some serious compression to it uh trans clamps are free wow look at that they're really free I know you can't see that, but yeah, transom clamps are free on it. It's got good compression. So, the fella brought it and said, been in my backyard. I've been tripping over it. I don't want it in my backyard no more. You want it in yours? I said, yeah, I want it in yours. didn't get that in there. I just didn't. There we go. Nope. Nope. I don't know if the hood works or not. But, uh, yeah. So it's Christmas in the March. 
with the Yamaha ha, 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 ha. triplet three cylinder Sisionis Petrolionis Blinias 40. I take it. I take it. I'll be back. Well, I was quite surprised. I uh, pulled out the oil, checked it. Look how clean that is. I mean, it's nice and tea colored and all beautiful clean. So the, te the fella I got the motor from, he said it hadn't been run hardly at all. And uh, beginning to think I believe him. It's even got the uh, original little Yamaha toolkit right here. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. I ain't even gonna open it. But uh, they don't give you much room to work this oil fill. I better get something so I can reach in there. And... But yeah, it's uh, the oil's like very clean. I like the way this is set up. Alright. Mo' better. In my last video I showed y'all some dumpster fine tools. And uh... There they are now. I just took one of those. First, I took it to my uh, wire wheel. Wire wheels. I have a coarse and a fine uh, bench grinder wire wheels. I took them to that. And then I took one of those flapper discs and took some, you know, made little swirlies as best I could. I didn't hit the blade, it's still quite dull. So I gotta sharpen them yet. And uh, that way you don't heat nothing up using the wire wheel and the flapper. One of those little flapper discs. Fairing discs, I don't know what they call them, but it, it's like a sandpaper cardboard thing. Then I burnt the handle with my torch and then sprayed a couple coats of clear on that. Just regular old rattle can, clear. Came out pretty nice. And here's my little hatchet. I put some yellow paint. That way I don't leave it laying on the beach over there, hopefully. Little high vis. Same thing, I wire wheeled it and then used my little flapper disc to clean it up. Same here, it hasn't been sharpened. Still quite dull. Need to get my file, file an edge on there. But came out pretty nice. And then I got my sheaths. These came out of dumpsters as well. So, we got some sheaths for them. I need to get some Neats foot oil, saddle soap and whatnot, and clean them up. But that's how they came out. Dumpster tools, babies. Sorry, my battery died. But anyway, I gotta modify that sheath a little bit. Take some of the threads out right in here and then put a rivet there maybe and a little Velcro strap or something. I'll come up with something. But now, like I told you, people throw away the tools in the dumpster. So I got a couple nice pretty ones here. But I want to show you, I went out. And peeped around in the dumpster again, and I found that. And you can see it's got quite a bit of damage to the handle. I don't think they're saving that. But I got some handles around here. I saved them too when I find them, so. Hopefully when I clean it up, I can find a name on it. Oh, wait a minute, I see a name right there. Hang on, let me hit this with my wire wheel real quick. This one... Oh, 
It says master mechanic. That's a master mechanic. Got some good lines to it though. I like the way it tapers in here, and, but it's all sloppy in there. I got to take my little wedges out and find a new hammer. Yeah, it's a master mechanic there. So it's not real old or anything, but let me show you what else I found. Now this one, this is was a good score here to me. Looky there, looky there. I've, I've hit it with my wire wheel a little bit right in here and I can't find a name on it. It's a nice old double bit axe. Got a chunk missing right there. So I'll have to round that on in there or something. But I fix it up. Handles pretty bad. You see it right in here. So, but yeah, people throw them away. I take them. I take them. Okay, so let's give this little guy a test run. Uh, it's gonna be a little noisy. I'm gonna turn on my sucker fan. seems to run out pretty good. Shifts fine, throttles fine. So she's the runner. She's the runner. Ooh. Yami 9 Pert 9 with a shift handle, throttle, totally acceptable. Um, yeah, so yeah, she came out all right. And still got a little clean, and I need to clean that propeller up, maybe paint it, put their little rubber grommet thing around the shift handle, whatever I'm going to come up with them. i got a couple ideas already. Uh, still need to work on the transom clamps a little bit. I'm just going to 
drill a pilot hole on each one, squirt, squirt some lube, they'll be fine. So, the cutie little yammy, four stroke nine per nine. All right, so we got the little 9.9 .9 four stroker up and running and functioning. Um, is this ideal? No. Will it work? Certainly this would be a fine little kicker for just putting around on the old tin boat or whatever or a backup kicker um, for a bigger boat or if you just want to do a little trolling or whatever this would find uh, the shifter handle not the way I would want to do it I would like to have it back up here and if like I said if the cable come in um, on another junker I'll switch it back over nothing I did here is permanent or cannot be undone but in the meantime this makes it a usable little kicker. Um, got the old high thrust prop. I don't know a lot about them, but uh, anyway, that's what it calls for to have on it, so that's what it's going to have on it. You understand. So, we got this one wrapped up. We got the bear season, the bar season coming up. I've already been contacted by a few of my guides over on the mainland and so forth and such and such. And uh, so I've got a few of their motors I need to get in here and get going. Uh, hopefully I can, uh, I got one, it's a Yamaha, I think it's a 20, but it has issues. He says it runs fine in my tank, but he says when he gets it out in the field and tries to power up, it has no power. So I don't know what's going on there, so we might throw that on my old Boston Whaler and take it for a run and see if we can figure that out. And then I've got a little Evinrude 15. He says it's a two-stroker Evinrude 15. He says that it's uh, got water coming in and around the inside of the lower cowling area. He said it's peeing water inside. So we'll have to see what that's all about. And uh, then I've got some other guides that have called me to have some motors. So hopefully the weather will get better here and uh, I can get to taking care of some of these and get this garage door open and get things moving a little faster. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. And as always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host. Cody Bass.